So good afternoon guys, it's your girl Vivian V with an interesting video, Kama Kawa Ida. So guys, if you're new in my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, Karibu Sana and Asante Sana. So guys, if you see me in this part of my house, you know I'm about to surprise you with some nice delicious meal. Some nice African delicious meal. I mean, who said just because you're in Canada, you cannot, you, you, you will be apart with your roots. So guys, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do you know what I want to prepare for you guys today? I want to prepare a meal called omena <laughs> i know right omena yes so guys from the lake come and comment below and tell me if you think how i'm preparing omena is how it's supposed to be done hmm. so guys told me that uh, so do you know the name of omena in english huh do you know the name of omena in english i mean who knows the name of omena in english okay uh i think it has two names yeah uh there's a silver cipranine silver cipranine and there's also a lake victoria sardine guys who would have known that omena has a beautiful name like that lake victoria sardine i think that's my favorite uh, name lake victoria sardine or silver or, or silver a uh, cyprinade silver cyprinade i hope i am um, i hope i am pronouncing it better i'm pronouncing it well and if i am not guys comment down below and tell me how it's supposed to be pronounced so guys without further ado but myself do you know what I would like to call it? I'd like to call it Daga. <laughs> Did I say that right? Yes, Daga. Daga, like Daga. So, my friends from Lake Victoria, come, 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 come. And let me know if I am pronouncing it right, right? And if I am doing, and if my cooking, my recipe is going to be a good recipe, or if you can relate with the recipe, or if I am missing some things, please, I want you to comment below because this channel is all about uh, learning things. We are learning both of us. The moment I bring you uh, something, it's not that I am good at it. No, 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 no. It's just that I think it's interesting. And I'm thinking like, even if I've never done it, let's just do it and then see if it's going to have a good uh, outcome or if it's going to be a successful and if it's not a successful then we're going to do it again and again until we get there so guys without further ado i will follow the steps that my friend told me <laughs> to follow <laughs> so i have my omena yes i have my omena and guess where it came from no we don't have omena here in canada so this i was brought by the friend you remember that time that time that a friend came from kenya and he brought me goodies yes omena was one of the packages guys and just to know that back at home i never used to like it as much and now it is one of my favorite meal why because it is nutritious you know like it is healthy i mean at this day and stage who doesn't want to eat healthy and it is even sweeter before i was saying hi mimi siezi kula hiyo fish inaniangalia hivi inaniangalia naezaje kula fish yenye ikombaka na macho inaniangalia na kula everything like the intestines please comment down below and let me know if you can relate 
so guys without further ado i'm going to give you uh the number of my ingredients so that we can go chop 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 and do this are we together so okay i have onions uh green pepper i have tomatoes a salt and uh oil yeah those are the things that i have for just frying the omena but um, i will add it some royco of course and we're going to have it with an accompaniment of ugali as you know guys i have raha premium uh, maize meal the kavagara and i don't know why i'm saying it and i am not showing it to you i have raha premium maize meal kwa raha ya familia hashtag kavagara so we're going to do our omena and we're going to make ugali after we karanga the omena so guys let me put this here okay so guys the omena is okay so first and foremost the steps to follow you're supposed to take your omena and choose it unaichagua kama mchele you choose 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 and after it's going to um uh, after you choose it's going to have these are the remaining uh stuff that uh, uh you're going to see after you've chosen so these are just the small small chips so you will not need this i've already chosen my omena i've already you know I've taken around look at it i've already you know chagua chagua if become mchele and uh, it's okay so this is what was left uh of the 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 the, the, the bad stuff so i'm supposed to throw this one away but since i did it already the omena i just wanted you to know uh, how it is yeah so after i do that after you chagua your omena and you feel that it is okay have some boiled water boil your water and then dip the omena into the boiling water remember do not boil the omena no boil the water and then soak your omena and let it stay there for a minute or so and so i am in that stage right now i have already put my omena in the hot water and it has soaked like for a minute or so while i was doing the intro in um it's in paper towel after i have soaked it from after i have removed uh drowned drowned it from the water so i'm trying to uh to pamper it and to you know remove the uh, soaking wet i don't know if i'll manage because my oil is almost ready for deep frying so what happens is you're going to deep fry it just like you're going to deep fry it just like how you do the fish you get me yeah so let me add some more uh, paper towel yeah and i hope i didn't make it stay in the water for long because guys it looks like it's soggy oh my god i hope i told you that we are learning <laughs> we are learning uh, we both of us we're learning all of us we're learning we are in a learning process so the moment you see me bringing a dish here Actually, most of the dish that I bring is the ones which challenge me. Maybe the dishes which I haven't done more or which I haven't done uh, more often. So it's not like I am familiar with it. Like the omena. I have eaten it, but trust me, I haven't uh, made it myself. But I have eaten it from the people or from the guys who've made it for me. And it was as delicious as you would never even think so i am soaking my omena right now yeah like i want the paper towel to soak the water you know because remember it was in the hot water guys remember just in the hot water yeah so yeah let me put this here let me put this uh, uh let me exchange the hot the paper towel yes it's really uh, soaking yeah yes it's soaking or oh, I mean it's um... so guys my oil is ready as you can see 
it's ready so uh, within a minute or two i'm going to put the omena dip and deep fried right and deep fry just the way you deep fry uh, a mandazi or the way you deep fry just a regular fish like tilapia and guys uh -huh, it's funny don't you think it's funny how when you're at home you don't appreciate the little things when i was back in kenya i never used to eat this at you know uh, things like omena i never used to eat uh things like iso kunde zile mzuri mzuri nice healthy and tamu but now when i'm here where it is so scarce to get them now i want them what are the odds it's just life you don't know what you have until you miss it or you lose it you don't know what you have until you uh, lose it so i'm going uh to i think my oil is ready so i'm going to now put the omena and guys i tell you i think i soaked my omena <laughs> a little bit more yeah guys i'm sure you can you can see and you can hear the huh? you can hear how the oil is uh vibrating yes yes so if it if it if it backfires guys going to do another video but nevertheless i will still upload this video yes yeah and the, and the guy who was telling me how to do it didn't tell me for how many minutes i'm supposed to leave it in the oil he also didn't tell me or rather i didn't ask at what point do you put the salt because i haven't put any salt at this point maybe i'm going to put the salt in the yeah i think guys it's coming along well yeah and so the smell <laughs> the smell i hope my bedroom door is closed i hope my bedroom door is closed yeah it's coming along so nice so far so good i don't want to put uh this uh thing because then it's going to make a lot of noise can you let me feel yeah so i think we're just going to uh try and uh we're just going to try and work without it but be a little bit uh, fast yeah yeah i think i think they are ready guys i think they're ready let me show you let me show you and you let me know because i don't want to remove them when they're not ready yeah i think they're goldish can you see do you think they're ready guys do you think they're ready comment down below and let me know Yeah, so I want to see this is raw, like I have this is uncut. I haven't cut anything. Do you want to see? Isn't it amazing? Woo! I know the presentation is not so good, but woo, guys! Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing? Yes, and at this point, my friend tells me. Let me be putting the let me be putting the I'll tell you what. So at this point, my friends tell my friend tells me that yes, you can sort them at this uh, point and you can even eat them as a snack. What are the odds? You can even eat them as a snack, guys. It smells so good. 
Mm. I was scared that it's gonna crash. But guess what, guys? My first time to cook omena. And I mean, I'm on camera. And it came out so nice. Look, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it amazing? Yeah. So... Uh, my friend tells me that you can eat it as a snack as well while you're watching a movie at this uh, 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 or when it's like this of course once it has cooled a little bit but for us for me this is not the end of the journey for our omena no this is not the end of the journey it is the end of this journey but it is the beginning of another journey that i want to take you uh, through so guys I have uh, the, I have, uh, I have, I have, I have here, I have here, um, uh, what are they? I have, um, what is this called? I have onions and green pepper. So, and some oil. And so I have put it there so that I can just tear. So I want to make a gravy out of this omena and something funny i thought it was much but it has so 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 much strength guys it smells so good it smells so good i thought it was much while i was deep frying i already put my tomatoes yeah i already put my tomatoes and i'm just trying to beat it so that since the omena is small i want also like the tomatoes and the green pepper and the onions you know to crush because i am trying to make also like a a, 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 a a little bit of fry yeah a little bit of fry yeah so uh i'll, I'll take my sauce and put some small sauce yeah and stir more and stir Yeah, it looks very good, guys. Let me show you. you see? It looks great. So this is just onions, uh, green pepper, and uh, tomato. And some and a pinch of salt. And I'm on, uh, I think, a medium heat a little bit. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, Beat it until it's in small, 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 like until it's crushed. My aim here is to crush it without making it burn. Yeah, so I think I'm okay over now. So right now I'm going to put uh, my Omesh Dada guys. Guys from the lake, come and tell me, how do you think that I'm making a, this a delicious a meal? It is like a delicacy here back in Canada. Yeah, so I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. Like that, like that. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. I'm in the kitchen, so my hands are clean. Yeah, so I'm going to, yeah, stay. I don't know if I made a mistake here, guys. I, I'd, I'd like you to tell me. I don't know if I was supposed to put the omena first before the tomatoes. I don't know. I, I forgot to ask that. Or maybe I was told and I forgot. Meanwhile, our water for ugali is ready. Our water for garlic is ready. Yeah. It's coming out nicely, guys. I like the color. I like the color so much. So since you guys have already seen me making ugali, so I don't think I'll be... I don't think... I will be included I will include it uh, in the video but I will just make and then you will see the final if you haven't seen me making ugali I have like about two videos 
of I myself making ugali, of course, with other accompaniments. But today, it was all about the omena. It was all about the daga. It was all about the uh, silver cyprinate. Silver cyprinate. Silver cyprinate. Man, how comes it has a, such a posh name? Silver cyprinate. And the other one, like something. Comment down below because I've already forgotten the name. Yeah, so at this point, I will uh, put my uh, Royco Premium. You remember this? I also got it from back home. Uh, big up uh, guys from home for at least making me uh, enjoy the meals here because we don't have it here, guys. We don't have it here. And uh, when you get it, it, they sell it like gold. Man, you have no idea. They sell it like gold. So if you have it, what you do is you use it uh, wisely. Oweki mingi. Yeah, they go too. Oh my god, even that's too much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see my water are for Ugali. The African cake is almost. And meanwhile here, our omena looks so good. You can see, it looks so good. Yeah, so, you can eat it like this, but I want to make a gravy out of it. Kidogo. But you can eat it like this, you can choose to eat it like this. It is well done. You can choose to eat it like this. And just maybe have some greens. A little bit of uh, kando, pembeni. And uh, eat it with ugali. Or maybe rice, I don't know. But for me, I think I'll definitely go all in with ugali. Let me know what uh, you think. See? So this is the second uh, type. The second uh, type of... Um, like the second time that you can eat it. Like, you uneze kule kiwaivi. You see? But for me, I want to make a gravy out of it. I want it uh, with the uh, stew, not dry fry. But you can eat it like this. And the aroma is good. As you can see, it's so beautiful. It looks so good. As you can see. You know? It looks so good. Yeah, but for me, I will add um, a gravy. And for my gravy, I will use a glass of milk. Yes, guys, a glass of milk to make uh, the gravy. I hope you have seen how it is. And I hope, let me take a photo. Let me take a photo of, of how it is. Yes, guys. Yes, that looks good. My guys, it smells so nice. I am craving, like I'm almost drooling. I'm almost drooling. It looks so good and it smells even uh, better. So my milk is here and I'm just about to uh, pour it in. Just slowly by slowly. So I shown you like you can eat it as a snack just after you've deep fried. I'll add some more milk, guys. some more milk yes and so let me show you guys let me show you see see how it looks 
so guys i'm already done uh, with my ugali i've already finished <laughs> how fast yes there it is i've already finished and uh, i'm just warming up uh, my omena as you can see this is how uh, it uh, came uh, through so i am here with my piece of ugali and i am just pakwaring you know yeah so let's see i'm so hungry it's drooling i'm drooling i'm drooling i'm drooling guys i'm drooling guys i'm drooling so guys this is my outcome do you like it this is my outcome so guys without a further ado uh, let uh, me uh, dig in let me dig in guys thank you so much uh, for your support thank you so much for following me uh, without um like unconditionally continue to follow me and i'll be able to be bringing you more content good stuff guys and you know let's just do this let's do this are the uh, i'm in the road to uh 700 there or, or <laughs> okay i'm in the road to okay because i don't know when this video is going to prima to premiere anyway i'm in the road to okay so guys let's subscribe let's subscribe and be watching the videos and put on the notification bell and for me i will just say baraka man and anyway look at my meal isn't it as beautiful as just the one who did it the one who made it thank you so much and god bless you guys god bless you mwah, 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 mwah.